the traffic is that crazy the traffic my gosh ah yeah right yeah and you are you in the on your home or uh, are am... you in your oh, job <laughs> or what? no i am at home i finished my job but oh, i was finally. in my job I was there 24 hours. Okay, okay. Hey, Good evening, so people. Good evening, teacher. Congratulations. I can see that you are talking in English and that oh, you're correct. practicing. <laughs> Thank uh, you. A really nice conversation about traffic jam and all that stuff. <laughs> traffic jam all the time. All yeah. Time. Yes. Hey, we welcome. don't have any, any free time to to drive the car or motorcycle. Not all the really, time, it's right? hard. It's really hard. Very hard. I just, just drive a car, but it's full. <laughs> yeah, I, full. Oh my I, gosh. I know it's quite difficult. Okay, I know, yeah. but you know, that is the way it, it is over here in the suburb, right? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of cars. Yeah, a lot of cars, okay. Uh, well, I can see only two, four, six, eight, nine people, and Alejandro is hidden, right? Yeah, no, 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 I can yeah, see Alejandro. Oh, okay. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. Alejandro. Alejandro. Yeah. Alejandro. Yeah. How are you? How are you? Welcome, Fine. Alejandro. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. Just, I'm great. Just, just fine. Okay. Gladys is over here also. Gladys is saying hello to everyone. Also, Cristina, Hello, welcome. Carla, welcome. Hello, everybody. Hi, good evening. Hello, Ruth. Good evening. Welcome. Good evening. Daniel, welcome. Daniel, is this the second time you're at home? <laughs> I, I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Brittany Look just came. Like <laughs> this is my call for me, but I, I, I he totally... looks very relaxed. <laughs> I, I was feeding my kitties. <laughs> Hello, Brandy. Welcome back. Welcome, everybody. Angel got into the class. Evelyn also. Hello, Evelyn. Elizabeth said that she have a problem. She's sick in the social security. Yeah, I I saw the message and Hello. I'm sorry Hello. about it. I hope she gets well soon. Hello, 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 hello. She asked me for your phone number. Oh, really? I will share it. With, I will share it in 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 the group. Don't worry. I will do it. Thank you, Brandy. And I say I know I, I know yes he is on the group, but I don't know his number. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, but well, fortunately, we have a um, we. Hey, today is uh, Thursday, right? Thursday, right. Yeah. Thursday. I wonder if you want to have English classes tomorrow. <laughs> if you want, I'm ready. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Tomorrow there are no <laughs> classes, you know. To, you, you will take it easy tomorrow. Oh, day off tomorrow. Please yeah. day off. Yeah, don't, don't worry. No homework for tomorrow. But for <laughs> Monday, okay? Ah, for Monday, okay. Yeah, so mm. don't worry because... Well, let me see uh, uh, 10 people connected and uh, still waiting for 11. Jessica, yeah, 11. And Jessica just came into the class. Okay, people, we're going to start uh, talking about uh, a general review, right? That's what we uh, decide. We decided yesterday, right? We talked about the importance of solving certain. Uh, difficulties with pronunciation of regular verbs in the past form. Something that I want you to uh, overcome. I mean, it's not that everybody's committing um, uh, mispronunciation all the time, but you know, you are in the intermediate level of, of English one, right? So you are moving into another into another level of English, and we need to. Um, so any problem over here any difficult and you know actually i have um i have named these sessions like a knowledge check but a, a, a general knowledge knowledge check about 
section number three and also about section number four. That's what we're going to try to do also, right? Evelyn says, teacher, I'm finishing. Uh, oh, she's cooking now. Evelyn is cooking mm -hmm. and she is. Oh, okay, okay, Evelyn. I got Show your message. You are cooking. Yeah, Evelyn what is you cooking. are cooking, Evelyn. Show us. <laughs> share some, some snacks. Maybe share the food. Sure. Maybe, maybe. Share, <laughs> share the some snacks. The process was yesterday, <laughs> not today. <Yeah. laughs> Mail yes, Share some some snacks through the through the chat, please. <laughs> Mail very delicious. Yeah. Hey, you know what? I didn't get no no. Let me see. It's not this exercise, but we're gonna get there soon. Okay. This is the first uh, video, right? We're gonna have a review on. Okay. Okay, this is, a, this is going to be about uh, evaluations and comparisons, right? Right. Okay, Jessica, I got it. And I don't know if you could like, like coordinate the presentations for tonight. I don't know if there, there is a specific um, participant who's going to talk about um, pronunciation of verbs. Did you do so? Oh, oh, Jessica is in church of it. Okay, so just before getting into the video activities, okay, in the video activities, uh, we're gonna listen to Jessica, okay? Jessica is going to provide some feedback about the way to pronounce a regular verse in the past form. Okay, Jessica? Okay, teacher, I will try. The three rules are, first, verbs ending in a voiceless sound like a P, F, K, S, S, H, T, H, C, and X, the pronunciation will be like T, T, for example, helped, kissed, washed, and finished. Rule number two, verbs ending in a voice sound like a B, G, L, M, N, R, B, and T, or a vowel. Pronunciation will be like D, D. For example, rubbed, called, climbed, realized, and loved. And the number three is verbs ending in sound T or D. The pronunciation will be ID. For example, went till, educated, ended, and needed. That's the information that I find. Wow. Uh, well, you get you you got a summary just with the, the with the exact information I was uh, I, I was thinking about Jessica. And besides that, you you, you explained the information quite well. And you use the right pronunciation. Congratulations. So you see how important it is to, to do the homework assignment. As you can see in the chat, she mentioned something. What did she mention, uh, Gladys? You can check the you can check the chat. Okay. I typed something she mentioned. Okay. Okay. Um she she mentioned it. <laughs> She mentioned about, it. Give me one second. Give me one second. Give me one second. Now we have we have that verb mention, right? Let us analyze mention, this one. Mention, mention. Mention. Yeah. What 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 type of verb is that one? Regular or, or irregular? The third one, verbs ending are in T or D. Mention is ah. uh, I think it's the, the third one ending in T mentioned. Is that right? Is that right? It's People? the number two. It's about the group number two. Why? Because the rule number two say um uh, all the verbs who end in or in B G Z B M N L R 
J T H how to pronounce with like a D. D. Okay, so what's the real pronunciation? Permission. Permission. With D at the end, right? Gladys? Yeah, I said mentioned. Mentioned. I said mentioned with D. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> uh, okay, pretty good. Now, Gladys, can you provide like further info? Because you were doing, you were explaining, right? The info. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, she mentioned that depends of the how the verb is pronounced. And the first one is a uh, voiceless sounds, verbs. Mm -hmm. And it must be pronounced with a, with a throw. <laughs> I think I read uh, something about that you have to touch your throat to feel how it's pronounced the verb, voiceless sound. And the second one, the voice song, that the verse that uh, uh, is pronounced. Yeah. yeah, it must uh, pronounce the, the, uh, the letter that is, uh, is not vocal, it's consonant. And voice song. Okay, so uh, something that something important that you uh, mentioned is about she voiceless. Not a lot, a lot of letters, but I don't remember all of yeah, them. Yeah, that's what I what that's what I want you to <clears throat> to notice. Okay, if we learn the rules, okay, that's fantastic, right? The rules have just uh, said by. By the presenter, right? Who was the the lady who presented the info? That was Jessica, I think, right? Yeah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. So she uh explained the rules about the three groups of of. I mean, there is only one group, but uh, about regular bear. But those regular bear can be pronounced in three different ways. And she said, when you have Voiceless sound, a voiceless sound, the verse going, uh, the, the ending sound of the verb will be like a T. Now, can you pronounce this verb, people? Look the verb in the, in the, in the chat. Wash. What, what, is, what is the last sound of the verb? Only the sound of the verb. Wash. No, only the, the, the last part, the last part. Wash. Now, listen carefully, okay? Because if you pronounce that sound, shh, and you, touch, quiet. And yeah, and you touch your vocal cords, shh, no vibration. You, you, you notice that the, your vocal cords do not vibrate. Is that no right? No vibrate. Right. <laughs> Sure. No vibration. Wash. 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 Yes or no? Wash. No vibration. No. So the sound is voiceless. Voiceless. So what is the sound? Now look at this. Look at the chat, please. What is the pronunciation of the verb then? Wash. Wash. No, Wash. 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 Okay, type the, letter, type the letter in the chat that represents the sound at the end of that verb, please. Okay, Brenda got it. So, Brenda, very good, Angel, Ruth, and company, Jessica, Christina, Vicente, what is the last sound? What? what? D. No, it's like a T sound. T. What? Yeah. What? So, what? So Wash. in in other words, it's Wash. not necessary for you to to memorize the the rules, okay? But the only thing you need to do is to notice if the verb uh, the end sound of a verb is voiceless or voiced. In this case, wash is voiceless. So I automatically I know that the 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 sound in the in the past form is like a T sound, and then I T. say washed. 
Washed. All right. Washed. There is the past. Washed. Form. And also the past participle, participle form. And I'm telling you this because we have been studying about present perfect tense. Now, look at the next verb. Look at the chat, people. How do you pronounce that verb? Clean. Clean. Yes. How about depression? Now, can you can, can you reproduce the last sound of the verb? Mm. Mm. Like mm. Mm. And your vocal cords. Mm. Mm. There is a vibration. Uh, do uh, do your vocal cords vibrate? Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, right. Yes. Clean. Clean. Ah, okay. So what's With what, what is so mm. that means that the sound is voiceless or voiced? Voice. Voice. It is the opposite, right? About wash, right. wash, mm -hmm. cleaned, wash. So when we have that type of verb uh, with a with a with a voiced vibration, okay, or with a with a voiced sound, sorry. So automatically, I know that the that the the sound in the past form is. Look at it. D, D sound. D, excellent, D. Angel and Ruth and Gladys and Christina. Okay, so uh, I know that you perfectly, uh, you are aware about, about the rules, but some, sometimes we tend to forget when we present information. We tend, and that's, and the reason is because we, we, um, we, we don't uh, pra practice um, the necessary times. Okay, so cleaned is the sound in the past. Cleaned. Now, in the third rule, now, what is the last letter for that verb? D. D. Give me one second. What is the last letter of that verb? Acceptive. Yeah, what is the last letter? In the first one, look, the T. first one I typed, T. 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 So, and, the, and the second one? Acceptive. Okay, yeah. so we have a D letter at the end and we have a T letter at the end. So this is, this is easier. This is the easiest. Because all the regular verbs uh, that end in T or D, the pronunciation will be ed. E. So where is the pronunciation? For, give me one second. Where is it? How do you pronounce this verb? Adid. Adid. How do you pronounce this verb? Adid. Accept. 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 That's fantastic. Accept. That is actually the the. That's the review about regular and irregular verbs. Now, do you have any questions? Okay, the T or and D. T or D, Vicente. T or D mm -hmm. at the end. Okay. Okay. So I think you you got a list of, of regular verbs, and you you can perfectly notice if the sound at the end is voiceless or if it is voiced, or if the verb ends in T or D, and then automatically you know the pronunciation of the okay. verb. Now, any question about it, about this, this part of the, of the information no. related to regular? Oh, yes, we need to practice more. Okay, so keep practicing. And the other, and the other thing, piece of advice, remember that the regular verbs, okay, so we have three rules for regular verbs, right? Three. Three. Okay, and three pronunciation for past form or regular verbs. But what is the rule for irregular verbs? Identify if it is voiceless or with sound. Okay. Or that verbs and D or T. Fantastic, Gladys. That is for regular verbs. What about irregular? Irregular verbs. Do I we have this part? <laughs> huh? 
No, I didn't do this part. Yes, what? I was watching these regular verbs. Okay. Now, I will let you know about the rule. The rule for irregular verbs is that there is no rule. <laughs> okay, there is no rule. So what Not do because I... because everything changed? Yeah, there is no rule. So you it's have to... Word. You have to memorize all, mm -hmm. all of the verbs. Mm -hmm. okay. and, I, and I think that is the hardest part when talking about regular and irregular verbs because we have a lot of verbs. Okay? So, but, right. but, but we, we need to start. Okay? So we, we have to keep studying and to keep practicing. Now, yes, let us go over the platform. Okay? We're going to try to... Hey, we spent like 20 minutes for having the review on regular and irregular verbs. Now, well, I don't know if there is one person that got ready. Can you see the info, guys? Yeah, yeah. we can see. Okay. I wonder if there, uh, there is a person in church of presenting this video or the most significant part of the video. Anybody in the group or... So I will choose somebody then. I think there is no any volunteer. Now, listen, we are we are having a general review about, about the topics, right? That's what we decided to do yesterday. Yeah. Okay, let me see. I will, I will just move on to the... Okay, I will choose somebody. Evaluations and comparisons. I will choose somebody. Okay, Alejandro, please. What can you tell us about this part of the video? Okay. Uh, the evaluation and comparison. Evaluation with additives. Well, the then for say the explicit uh, evaluation with the additive, for example, apartments aren't big enough for families. Basically, <laughs> the evaluation with the additive when you if you don't, if you don't know, agree, if you don't agree or, or you, or when you share, if you know it's a small or it's a big, it's depending on what you want to do or what you want to get. In comparison with adjectives is, for example, house are in us, convenient, convenient us, Apartment. Uh, well, the comparison is the with the adjective is is like um it's like the same with the adjective the evaluation, but the difference the different is when you don't say no. For example, the the houses are just a uh, convenience, but you say no because because um <laughs> I don't know what is the pen by right? the uh, the the other thing is different than the first um. Compare uh, evaluation, but um, let me see. Alejandro, do you need some help? Uh, yes, please. Okay, choose somebody from the group, please. I don't know. I I choose for a number. Number. No, mention the, the number, name of the, the person, name. please. Uh, hold on, hold on. Say the name of the person, please, Alejandro. Victim. 
Let me see. Nobody moved. <laughs> <laughs> Adjectives. Gla Gladys, maybe. Okay, Gladys. Okay, Gladys. Yeah, no, please. Help okay, me, please. I I I will ask I will ask the question, right? So because this is this is I want you to identify the adjective over here. Okay, where are the adjectives? And also, and also, I just want you to identify the adjectives over here. Okay, on the other hand, I want you to identify the, the nouns in the, in the next part, okay? And the way we use this structure, only that. Okay, these structures uh, we must use when we have to talk about evaluation and comparison, describing something, we need to compose the sentences first with the subject. And if we are gonna describe evaluation, we have to use adjectives, like describe uh, the big or is it small or it is uh, enormous or it is um, beautiful or ugly, that kind of adjectives. And we need a subject first and then uh, the adjective, uh, the verb to be, is necessary verb to be. And then we have to use uh, it describe with the adjective if it is small, and then the complement. This is the first part. And the, the parts of the right said that, that uh, when we use evaluation with nouns, we need, uh, we need to use the similar structure for the sentences that describe the subject. And then we have to use a verb, auxiliary verb, or uh, uh, another verb and um, use uh, then uh, we we need to identify if there is countable and not countable. In this case, uh, said that apartments don't have enough parking space. Parking space is not countable. Uh, it, For uh, that reason, we uh, use par um, parking spaces. Parking spaces. Is it countable or I not countable? It's countable. I'm sorry. Oh, it's right. countable. Okay. okay. Yes. Countable. And money? And money? Money is not countable. Okay. And That's right. That's why we use too much, right? Too much. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And when we uh, have to compare songs with adjective, uh, besides use the auxiliary verb to be, we need to use uh, asked and the first parts after the verb to be, and then put the adjective. And then we have to use uh, as again and complement. Fantastic. And, sorry, sorry. Yeah. And the last part that says that uh, comparison with nouns, we have to identify also if we are gonna use uh, countable or not countable. And it's depend, we have to use as many if it is countable or as much if it is not countable. Fantastic, Gladys. Gladys, you, I think you were born to become an English teacher. You did a great job. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, Gladys, choose another person in the group because I wanna make sure uh, you, you are pronouncing these words in the right way, please. Choose another participant. Yeah, someone. I think Daniel wanted to participate. Daniel, <laughs> Daniel. Okay, okay, Daniel. Daniel. Okay, Daniel, Daniel. You, you know, that's that's the problem <laughs> when people when people are very popular and you are very popular. Okay. <laughs> now, Daniel, here we go. Okay. When they use the evaluation and comparison. No, no, Daniel, Daniel, I'm sorry to okay. interrupt. Only pronunciation of this vocabulary. Okay, okay. Comfortable. Good. Convenient. Good. Dangerous. 
Good. Dark. All right. Bright. Expensive. Huge. Ah. Huh? Huge. Mm. Huge. Uh, Huge. Listen to Brandy. Brandy is helping you. Brandy, how do you pronounce this? Huge. Huge. All right. Huge. Small. Inconvenient. Modern. Noisy. Private. Uh -uh. Private. Can, can, can somebody can somebody help Daniel? Private. 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 Right. The next Quiet. one. Quiet. Quiet. Safe. Safe. Again, small. Small. Yes, the last right. one. Yeah. The last one is spacious. Okay. Okay. So listen, we're gonna go over the next part. Otherwise, we're not gonna advance. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we we have to, or we we need to try to go over the next part. Well, what is the grade you got over here? Ten. I really like the way you presented the info. Let's move on with the next part, please. Uh, Daniel, choose another person, please. Okay, let uh, me... but, but this is the same info. I think it's very similar. I will move on to the next. This one, expressing wishes. Choose anybody from the group, please, so that we can move on. Okay, uh, I choose the Carla Selena. Okay, Carla. What can you tell us about this info, Carla? Okay. Um, when I talk about wish, you use wish plus past sentence to refer to, to present wishes. Mm, the video, I remember that I watch, I talk about um, wish especially. And I remember that question. And that I, uh, he mostrates the structure. For example, subject plus uh, wish plus subject plus verb plus plus complement. When I do the the sentence, that was it, Carla. Yes. Do you need some more help? Yes. Okay, choose another person then. Okay. Um, Ana Viviana, Ivania, perdón. Okay, Ana, Ivania. Hi. Hello. Hello. Um, qual, uh, what is the the uh, uh, ¿cuál es la pregunta? Perdón. Yeah, uh, how would you explain the, the information over here? Wish. How do you express wishes in English? Okay. Uh, in the use in English, um, the order in the in the uh, um, in the press mm -hmm. is um a subject subject plus a, a wish plus a subject plus verb in the past uh, plus complement in the example a, a, in the um, in the example a, say a, i wish uh, the subject um, wish and a uh, uh, subject plus a uh, plus a auxiliary and the verb 
uh, in present and the complement uh, the uh the in in the complement in the in the phrase only okay now uh, Ivania right yes now choose another person to tell us the tongue twister I taught in the class um sorry teacher <laughs> don't understand you no cho choose another participant ah okay 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 um uh, oh. Rafael okay Rafael you have two choices Rafael you can provide two ex two more examples about the structure that you are uh, just seeing on the screen or you have to tell us the tongue twister I taught in the class which Rafa because because we have two Rafas yeah oh okay uh -huh. Uh, Rafa Guzman. Okay, Mr. Guzman. <laughs> okay. Do you remember about the tongue Victim. twister I taught in the class? Uh, no, teacher. I don't remember tongue twister. You were saying wish the wish the wish the. You remember about it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I remember you say that, but uh, don't remember the the tongue twister. Oh, okay, Angel is asking something over here in the chat. Hey, what is the use of the verb to be? What is the use of the verb to be with this structure, Rafael? I wish it were. I wish it were because Angel wants to have like some review about it. And uh what okay i wish i wish well i think jessica I wants wish to help was I, I, I wish i was or i wish i were i wish i was are you sure jessica is, is i don't know I if wish I, I wish i were if i say because i wish uh-huh jessica they are in real situation and we have to change was for where because it's unreal okay so if we were in church of conjugating the structure in it and if i say i wish i where where I wish you where, where? I wish he everything where? Is with where? Everything. I wish she where, where? I wish where? it where? where I wish we where I wish where? they where okay so that's where? something that you have to remember right so because we are talking about a wish something that is not real so we are going to use well, i mean with the bird to be we're going to use where all the time okay pretty good now nobody remembers about the tongue twister no. nobody no. Oh, no. Okay. no but i i, I find it more uh oh okay homework for monday teach as a tongue twister. Tom el, twister. El, el lunes nos van a enseñar como un ton, un ton, un trabalengua, ¿ok? Hey, I, I you know. wish to wish the wish you. That is, that is. <laughs> oh, oh, no, <laughs> another but that. Another. Okay, yeah, another but. I wish to wish, I wish to wish to wish, but I if I wish to wish to wish, it, I wish of a wish, I, I don't want to wish, wish to wish to sure. wish to wish. Ah, uh -uh. and you know, you have to do it very quickly. Eso les va a ayudar a que, a que tengan como más fluidez. 
Lo, lo tiene que decir lo más rápido posible sin leer, Pip. We will okay. have a social security. We will try, we will try. Okay, so that, that's for Monday. Gladys, I will, I will share it with you later, okay? I, I saw your, your message there. Hey, now, let us move on to the next part, people, because, you know, time uh, is almost, I mean, time is running, and I, it, and we need to see the, the next videos. All right, so, ah, this is a good structure to have some review on. Who was, who was the last participant? Rafael, you were the one, right? Rafael, choose another participant to, to help us with this uh, structure. Or number. No, just tell me the name of a, of a classmate. Um, Rafael Cruz Amaya. Ah, okay. Mr. Amaya. Tell me. In, in Latin American countries, say uh, when a song, someone has the, the same name, say Tocayo. Tocayo. What do you say in English, Tocayo? <laughs> How do I say Tokai in English? Yes. Namesake. Oh, no. Namesake. That's it. Can you, you write? Yeah, as far as I remember, because that's a word that I don't use that frequently, but I remember it's like namesake. Now, you namesake. Can, yeah, I think look for this word. And if I'm mistaken, then. I, I will look for it, don't worry, but I, I, I remember it's like this, namesake. I don't know if I'm mistaken, right? Namesake. But if it is not that one, I will I will look for it, don't worry, that's a homework for me. What's that? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so that's the word. Pretty good. Now, hey, guys, now, Mr. Amaya, right? Yeah, that's the way it is, Vicente. Namesake. Yeah. Namesake. All right, Daniel, pretty good. Uh, let me see. Hey. Mr. Amaya, is Mr. Amaya out here? Mr. Cruz Amaya. Are you ready? Go, Rafa, go, Rafa. Choose, uh, or choose another okay, victim. Okay. <laughs> okay, let us listen to Rafael Cruz. Is the leer teacher eso? No, I mean, try to explain it by using your own words. If you need some help, Rafael, choose another participant. I think Rafael has problems. I don't know what. I don't understand, teacher. Uh, okay, Rafael, don't worry. Okay, I will choose another person then. Don't worry, Rafael. So. We're trying to have some review about this topic, okay? That's that's everything all about. Uh, let me see. Elena, 
נוימי. Uh, I, I don't know, this, this, is this topic a little bit difficult for you to provide some like extra examples or to, to provide like, like some review about the way we use simple past and present perfect when talking or when writing? Yep. I, yeah, Brandy. Brandy? Yeah, I, I, I share uh, some page today in the group because I feel confused sometimes when I'm when I try to qualify what is which which kind of time of the one or something. I don't know. I feel confused sometimes. But I can I can help you with the first part with the Please. simple past. Please, Brandy. Well, the simple path, like the word say, is something simple. It's something that passed, um, like a yesterday or in the morning. It's something that passed and don't don't going to come back. Uh, how can we know that is a past simple? We have like a white, like a, some words that like can help us. And uh, why this a simple path? The first we have to use the verb build. Um, did if it is a, a negative, we can use didn't. And uh, let me see some word like I can prove that it impact is when you say, for example, I went to the doctor yesterday. That's mean that I went and that's past. This is simple part because they're going to come back. It's like a, when um when i say already finished my homework i'm finished that's past now i have to do something else <laughs> that's i mean i don't know if it is okay with this yeah uh, brandy how do you translate only this verb into spanish only this only this not the whole sentence Tratar, trate. are you sure try yeah trate. What they are talking about? Have you ever eaten anything? Ah, uh, uh -huh. uh, uh, como probar? Uh, yeah, but how do you, how do you translate only this verb in the sentence? Only this Probe. verb. Yeah. Are you sure it's probé? He probado. Ah, Alejandro knows. So that's what you need to be clear about. Ya sabía que íbamos a encontrarnos acá. De hecho, mmm, tenía mis sospechas que acá teníamos todavía problemas. Listen, that's why we have some review about regular and irregular verbs, okay? Si ustedes se fijan, ¿qué tipo de verbo es este? Es, uh, perfect. Regular. Ah, uh, es regular. Regular. Okay. regular. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Well, you use it. How do you pronounce it? Try. 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 With a With D. D at the end. Try. Ok, Tried. now. Uh, Brandy said, prove. Okay, Tried. over here is. Uh, 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 now, uh, over here, uh, th that's what you need to be aware of because sometimes it's prove. And sometimes is provado. Yes or no? Yes. So, yeah. uh, over here. Now, listen carefully. Say... Listen carefully. This is simple past or is, is it uh, present perfect? Present perfect. Present perfect. Are you sure? Oh, no. Simple uh, past. Ah, it is simple past. That's, that's, that's yeah. what I want you to be aware of, right? And I'm sorry, Brandy, because I said you were mistaken, but you are you you are okay. Brandy yes, was okay. Because, yeah, because we have a period over here, right? Yeah. And present perfect is over here. Then we have simple past over here. Now, uh, Brandy, you were sure you uh -huh. were okay. Yo probé. Okay, but if I look at the chat, I try. Now uh, you probé. Yeah, and I have. 
Right. Simple class. Yo he probado. All right. So this is, you know, I tried simple past and you know, I have tried. That is present perfect. And do you like them? What tense is this one? It's a simple past. past. Simple past. Yes, simple I did. Past. Simple past. past. Simple, simple, simple now, past. Now, auxiliar. What is the base form of this verb, people? Base do. form. Do. do. What is the past? Do. Did. did. What is the past did. participle? Done. 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 Pretty good. Done. So type a sentence with done in the chat. Present perfect. I already done. Uh, okay. So type it in the chat, please. No, I mean, I need a sentence, Alejandro. Okay, Jessica typed one. I have done my homework. Okay, that is present perfect. Pretty good. I've already done it. Brandy, that's quite good. I've already done it, etc. right? Now, what is this verb? What is the base form for this verb? Was and where? No, the, the base form. Be. Uh, be. The verb to be. Past form. Was and where. Past participle or, form. Being. Being. Mm. Now, base form for this verb. Eight. 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 Past form. Eight. 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 Past Eight. participle Eight. form. Eight. 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 All right. Eight. And then we have go, wind, gone. So what 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 do I mean with this with this activity? I, I've not finished my class yet. All right. Thank you, Alejandro. And what do I mean by by um having this this activity? Uh, first off, uh, that what you need to know is that you have to memorize the verse in the three forms. Okay. Be, was, were, being, eat, a, eaten, go, went, gone, etc. Speak, spoke, spoken, eat, a, eating, try, 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 okay, try, 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 etc. <laughs> so you need to be a very, I mean, you, you, you have to be very sure about it, okay? Because if you have an idea in Spanish and then you don't know uh, uh, the verb in English, so there you are going to face some problems with this. Now, listen. Well, I think this was like the most difficult part, okay? And you know, the time is running. And um, this is a structure, right? It all depends on the subject. Depending on the subject, you're going to use auxiliary. This is the auxiliary, right? Have or has, a subject, ever, past participle of a form, and a complement. Have you ever eaten snails? Yes, I have. No, I haven't. Now, after this, you, you are able to use simple past, right? Have you ever eaten snail? Yes, I have. I did it uh, last month. I ate snails last month, right? Or something like that. So I, I will check the list of tendons, okay? Meanwhile, I check the list of tendons. Mientras yo paso el listado, ustedes buscan el tongue twister que nos van a enseñar el lunes. Okay. No, vaya, no que no va a ser cortito, por favor, traten que uno que, que los haga mover su lengüita muy rápido y que pues <risa> hagan un ejercicio en inglés pues muy, muy significativo, ¿ok? <risa> Just give me one second, please. Aparte de que van a hacer ese ejercicio, van a aprender vocabulario. Alguien puede decir, el teacher está dejando solo un tongue twister. Yo me voy a aprender dos o tres. Y nadie le va a decir nada. Bueno, sí le voy a decir algo, lo voy a felicitar. Eh, Ana Ivania. Ok. Uh, Angel. Present teacher. Brandy. Cecilia. 
I saw Cecilia over here. Cecilia, are you there? Hey, Christina? Present. Hey, what happened to Cecilia? Hey, I have a question. How many no. lines have to have the tongue twister? No, I mean, is it? I mean, <laughs> there's, there's no any rule for it. You just get one and memorize, okay? Hey, but be sure that you're pronouncing the words in the right way. Cristina del Carmen, uh, you say hello, right? Daniel? I'm here, teacher. Diana yes. Stephanie? Elena Noemi? Present, teacher. Evelyn Susana? Present, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Fernando Alberto? Present, teacher. Uh, Gladys Mavi? I'm here, present. Thank you. Iris Concepcion. Present teacher. Jessica Alejandra. Present teacher. Carla Selena. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Kevin Alexander. <laughs> eh, Maria del Carmen. Maria del Carmen, are you here? Present, yes. It's okay, present. very good. Yesterday you couldn't you couldn't get into the class, right? Yes, teacher. I yeah. I have a headache and I I have sore throat. Oh, I'm sorry to know. And that. I have cough. Oh, I'm yes, sorry. I hope teacher. and I and I hope you are you are better now. Oscar Alejandro. Thanks. Present teacher. Rafael Cruz. Present teacher. Rafael Guzmán. Present teacher. Ruth Elizabeth. Present. Sandra Noemi. Sandra Noemi. Eh, Vicente. Here teacher. En Yanira. Yanira Elizabeth. Janira. I think. Uh, is Janira in the group, people? No, Elizabeth is uh, the. Ah, she's sick, I think, right? She is in the social security. Yeah, right? that's right. That is right. Thank you. Okay, so I think I'm done with it. And we still like, we still have like two or three minutes. Okay, and what are we going to do with those three minutes? Well, uh, Vicente, what is the tongue twister you encountered in the internet? Uh, I got one. For example, um, three witches watch three swatch watches. Which, which watches, which swatch watch. <laughs> <laughs> so confused, but... <laughs> I remember one that was Vicente. Vicente, that is the first one, right? You're going first to one. memorize fire, right? Oh my god. Fire. Fire. Oh my <laughs> god. Fire. <laughs> no, but oh Vicente, you know. Oh Just man. Get hey, um, phone, you know. Oh man, they <laughs> Oh, oh man, they, you, you gotta say it, but with without reading and in a very quick way, okay? Okay, Vicente, that's the homework. Okay, okay that's it. Okay, I got what's... it. All right. <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh, Carla, Carla, what's the tongue twister you got? Carla Selena. Uh, Peter, Peter, pickled a pick of pickle, pickled Peter. How many pickled Peter did Peter pick? Paper pick. All right. Wow. I think it's not going to be difficult for you to memorize it, okay? Because you have read it in a really fast way. Uh, Maria, I didn't listen to you, Mary, tonight. Maria del Carmen, what's the tongue twister you got? <laughs> uh, 
I will try it. Um, you know New York, you need New York, you know you need, you need New York. Oh, that's, that's very short. <laughs> So you're going to learn like, like three or four like that yes, one, right? Yes, teacher, I... I... <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, that, that's really... That's, 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 that's an example. Yeah. That is, that's and only... You. The... And you want to participate. That's the first oh, well, oh, you see, Brandy, you, I don't know. You are best friends, right, Angel? Brandy is asking for your participation. Okay, Angel, <laughs> what's the top Twitter you got? <laughs> Okay, uh, so Go ahead, Angel. Look, looks like <laughs> lakes. Lakes, duke, likes lakes. Look, looks, leaks, lakes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's so hard. <laughs> uh, I, kind of. Okay, Rafael Ernesto. Okay. Uh, very both better, but the better was bitter. So very both better, better to make the bitter, better, better. <laughs> All right. Okay, that that's fantastic, people. Hey, you know, better Monday will be it will be very very, very funny, but at the same time, it's very going to be very meaningful. Week. La vamos a pasar bien porque vamos a estar aprendiendo un par de tongue twisters. Pero además de eso, lo que sí de verdad, miren, esto parece broma, pero eh, a aprenderse tongue twisters y decirlo súper rápido nos ayuda a que como son sonidos que eh, algunas veces no tenemos en español, entonces si los estamos va a repetir, repetir, eso nos ayuda, nos ayuda a que, a que también pues soltemos un poquito más la lengua en inglés. Así que, okay. let us okay. see we will, on we Monday. Will try. Let's see on Monday. See you on Monday. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice tomorrow, weekend. no class. No, no classes for tomorrow. No class. okay. Tomorrow yeah. you have to memorize the tongue twister. Tomorrow no class. If somebody wanna, if you want some uh, free time, you can call me. Uh, excellent, Brandy. Okay. okay. See you. Weekend. Um, Good night, everyone. Good night. 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 Good Monday. See you Monday, Daniel. Okay. Have a nice weekend. Maybe, maybe call you tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Okay, okay. Bye-bye. Good night, Maria. Bye. See you. See you, everybody. <laughs>